He loves being a Dakota Wizard, and he loves being an alum of Virginia Commonwealth University. But on Sunday, Mike Anderson's two loves were in competition with each other. About 90 minutes before his Wizards tipped off with Utah, BCU and Kansas collided, and a win for the Rams would mean a trip to the Final Four. I was kind of cheating back there watching the game on the TV and before the warm-ups. Concentrating on his own game wasn't easy, with score updates from the PA and from fans. And around the same time the Rams dropped the Jayhawks for the school's biggest victory, Anderson was hoping to get the ball to drop. Just four points in the first half, all off of free throws. I came back in the second half, I bounced back and took care of business. That he did, six critical points in the final seven minutes as the Wizards finished off the flash, 108 to 105. Celebrating two wins allowed Anderson to relax and reminisce. It means a lot, man. Like uh, when I was there in 07, we had beat Duke, so that was the first time we done something big in the tournament. And now watching those guys that um, kind of, most of them I helped recruit, they was they was freshmen when I was a senior. Now they stepping up to the plate and they they make it, they create their own destiny. And they're in the final four, and hopefully they can take it all the way. In the interest of full disclosure, proud Ram is one thing, but realist is another. Did Anderson see this coming? According to his bracket. Nah, I had them losing the Sweet 16, though. I did. I was going with, I had, I had Kansas winning. I thought they was going to lose to Purdue. But once they beat Purdue and uh, they made it happen against Florida State, I was, I was a believer that they really could take it all the way. If they do or if they don't, March 27, 2011 is a day that Mike Anderson will never forget in more ways than one.